In this episode, we pick up where we left off on Solo B-Roll 2021, Resurrect, What We Weld in Weekly. Welcome to Straight Six Fan. I'm Gray and Tommy, helping you build your hot rod in your confidence without a ton of money. And today, What We Weld in Weekly is back, y'all. So, you know, I took a little hiatus there, but I was working on stuff. If you've watched my solo B-roll challenge 2021, you see that I'm working on some steampunk metal art. And that's where we're going to pick up here today. So, where we left off. This is sort of my kit of parts. We've got just some miscellaneous stuff. And, okay, well, what I was going to originally build is going to be like a John Deere Model A, steampunk version. Camshaft's the motor, this is the little steering knuckle thing, the grill, what have you. But, because I couldn't source any timing chain sets uh, with the, you know, the cam sprocket and the crank sprocket, that was going to be my back and front tires. I've had to make a little bit of a pivot. So I'm not exactly going to tell you guys the direction I'm heading now with this build, this project. Um, this is actually for another competition. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm not going to reveal it. So yeah, while I have to make a pivot, I'm not going to reveal it right now exactly what, which way I'm going to go. Um, Maybe you can see and guess that as this, as this episode goes on. So you'll have to stick around towards the end to get that unveil or at least some hints. You see Steve Darnell of Welder Up. He started that class Welder 101 and I purchased it. That's sort of what kicked off this whole What We Weld in Weekly series. Well, I'm going to enter his competition, which is like a scrap metal, metal art, steampunk art um, competition. Limits are the piece of artwork going to be bigger than, I think it's three feet by three feet. I don't need to build something that big, so let's just get back into it. About the only thing different from where we left off on the uh, solo b-roll challenge video is I've, uh, I've drilled out three thirty seconds inch holes here around the perimeter of this front. So uh, I need to do some cleaning up and then we will fill those in with a little something something. <laughs> So yeah, this is the first chance I get to whip out the old TIG welder for the Everlast 206 PI here on what we weld in weekly, but yeah, this is the, the proper tool I need for the next step. Yeah, so here we are midstream with the basket weave. It's working out all right. Um, you know, it's hot enough when I feed these through to, to bend around, but uh, you know, at the bottom, the filler rod's gonna be short now since I've been, you know, going in and out, so, yeah. Here we are, Saturday, and um, TIG welded to redid the turbocharger, uh, so it's a little more anatomically correct with the uh, intake up front, exhaust out back, and uh, pretty happy with how it turned out. TIG welded the rivet, or the air cleaner, on, so yeah, I'm liking where this is heading. But uh, yeah, just a quick, quick update, We're, we'll get back to the production now.
come to find out, when you set your camera up for a really nice angle, hit record, and kind of forget about it for 25 minutes, well, turns out the uh, battery doesn't last too much longer after that. So I didn't get any of the great shots of where I finished up with the project. So if you made it all the way to the end here, it's time to unveil what I created, and that is a mini dozer. So I had a lot of fun with this project. I got it submitted, uploaded to uh, uploaded to the contest on time last uh, was it Sunday? It's Tuesday night as I record this last bit, but yeah. Um, <laughs> like I said, I really enjoyed this. It it uh, I'm super happy with how it turned out. Now I will tell you, I did buy this um, this stuff from a company called Steel FX. This was supposed to be like a bronzing spray, so it's supposed to turn the steel into kind of a bronze color. And I don't know what I was doing wrong. I mean, I guess I can kind of see it now, a couple days later, really up close. I don't know if I finished the steel too well or not enough. And the instructions say spray it on, put the rinse off with, with water right away, and then dry um, as fast as possible to prevent flash rusting well. I didn't do a good job drying off the engine bay uh, plate steel because we, we've got some surface rust on it. So I need to probably go back through and polish some stuff back up. Um, but yeah, I need to I need to probably spend some more time with that bronzing spray to figure out how it works. But again. Here we are, just really pretty excited about how it turned out. What I also learned is I got a long ways to go, and uh, this is this project was a good it was a good challenge, and I'm happy with it, the way it turned out in some respects. And then there are others that I realize how much longer I got to go with this what we weld in weekly venture. But if I had fun, that's what matters most. If you enjoyed the episode, consider leaving me a like here on the video. That really helps me out. Otherwise, over here, I'm going to leave some other What We Weld In Weekly episodes for you to check out, see where I've come from. But otherwise, that's going to do it for this episode. Until next time, peace out.